blessings and blessings. What's up, tribe? Preston Smiles here from the beautiful Byron Bay, Australia. If you are new to the tribe, new to my vibe, and you are just coming on and you're on YouTube, click that red subscribe button before we can get started. If you're on Facebook, get ready. It's going down. So today's transmission ooh, ooh, is it's time to jump out. Where I first saw this was a gentleman by the name of Zig Ziglar. He was doing this thing, I think it was like 1975, and he was talking about training fleas. I went and actually YouTubed and looked it up, and there's this study where if you put fleas in a jar and you close the lid on the jar, the fleas will jump up and hit the top of the jar over and over and over again for three days. And then on that third day, what will happen is, is the fleas will jump just high enough, but they will not hit the top of that lid. And then you can take the lid off, and for the rest of their remaining lives, these fleas will jump just high enough, but never out of that jar. And then if those fleas were to reproduce and have kids, their kids will never jump high enough to jump out of that jar. Now what does this mean for us? Man and womb man have been conditioned and trained the same way. A lot of us don't understand why our life isn't working. It's because we were born into a preconditioned environment that was already playing half-assed. And a lot of times what happens is, is as kids we grow up and we dream big and we want to do this and we want to do that and we have adults who become jaded, who become hurt, who become, you know, wounded in such a way that they believe that life is terrible and believe in lack and limitation. And what they do is, is they squelch your dreams. They sort of crap on your dreams in such a way that that has you believing it and because you're young and impressionable and you love these people then you start to believe it as well and then you're watching them consciously and unconsciously hold themselves in a particular way and what happens is is that over time you develop the same habits and those habits become your life remember Aristotle said it best when he said we are what we repeatedly do excellence therefore is not an act but a habit now a lot of you have created habits unconsciously that keep you inside of the jar. You have created habits that keep you small. You've created habits when you feel discomfort. You've picked up on the same habits that your mother, her mother, and her mother do, which is overeating and emotional eating. You've created habits when you are experiencing anxiety and overwhelm. You go and masturbate or watch porn or do things that have you check out, drink a bunch of alcohol, swipe through Tinder or Bumble or whatever app is most prevalent at the time, right? These are habits that we've created over time that are not serving us. And Nietzsche said it best when he said, those who were seen dancing were called crazy by those who could not hear the music. All of you have some music, some medicine on your heart. You have some music that only you can hear, that only you can administer, that only you can dance to. But you've been trained for so long to only jump so high. And so you set the bar in a place where it's doable. Oh, I can do that. Oh yeah, I can do that. And I'm asking you, I'm challenging you today to set the bar higher than you ever have in your life. Most people don't accomplish big things in their lives because they don't believe they truly can. And so we've heard it a thousand times and it may be corny to some of you, but we've heard it, right? You reach for the stars and even if you fall short, you land on the moon. And really what it was always about is who you became on the way. It was always about the journey. It was always about who you met in that process. It was always about who you became. And so hear me, from my heart to yours, jump out of that jar today. Do something, dare to be different, find your edge and go past it. Why? Because what else are you gonna do? You only get one shot in this skin suit. You only get one shot in this lifetime as you. And the last thing you wanna do is live a life of regrets. The last thing you wanna do is be in that deathbed or in that final moment and go, oh my goodness, I didn't live my life. I lived my parents' life. I didn't live my life, I lived society's life. I didn't live my life, I lived the social constructs life. And so you wanna jump out of that jar. You wanna to dare to be different. You wanna to listen to that music that is on your heart, that is calling you forward and dance, salsa, crip walk, whatever you have to do your way along the yellow brick road. Because there's no place like home and home, home is here. If you can 
truly fall in love with the process and who you become and that part of yourself, the true self, not the one that's been socially conditioned and trained, but the self that has never been hurt, harmed, or endangered, the self that only knows pure joy, pure light, pure love, that self. If you can tap into that self and go along that journey, you win every single time. Rastafari, blue, 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 blue. Jump out, jump out, jump out, jump out. <sighs> Blessings and blessings, my beautiful people. If this video inspired you in any way, I ask that you share it. I don't run ads, I don't have a big marketing budget. The only way my videos go anywhere is based on you. So if this resonated for you and you're on Facebook, tag somebody, leave a comment, and tell me how you're going to jump out of that jar today. If you're on YouTube, please do the same and click the share button. I appreciate you all so much. Blessings and blessings. I am, we are, hashtag love's voice is going down in a beautiful major way.